Mainly, there are four types of honeybees. They are dammer bees, sirena, little bees, and rock bees. Mellifera, an imported species, is also in cultivation. This is the dammer bee colony. Taxonomically, Trigona iridipennis. It is seen in hollow tree trunks and cracks of the walls. Though it is stingless, it irritates by attacking eyelaps and hairs. These are the eggs. This yellow material is the pollen collection. These are the honey sacs. Separate the eggs and pollen and transfer them to a bamboo or earthen pot. Close the open ends. The bees will enter themselves and adjust very fast. Shift this during night hours to a convenient place. This honey is very thick and tasty, but the production is very less. Maximum 250 grams in a season. It is a good medicine for cough in babies. The wax has good demand, but the availability is very less. Even then, the contribution of these tiny bees for pollination is considerable. These are the little bees. Taxonomically, Apis floria. This species is seen in dry hot areas. These small and attractive bees build only one comb at lower heights in thorny bushes. The little bees are not cultivable and honey production is also very less, maximum half a kilo in a season. But the contribution for pollination is considerable. This is the rock bee colony, taxonomically Apis dorseta. These big and strong bees build only one but very large comb. Ferocious in nature, the sting is big and has more venom. They attack people and animals if they are disturbed. They even chase them for a long distance. The Maidan strains are a little bit soft in nature. Earlier they were seen on very big trees in hundreds. But now there are no such big trees. Rock bees build their combs at heights on rocks and big buildings. These bees are also not cultivable. They produce even 40 to 50 kilograms of honey in a single comb. Honey is extracted by experts during night hours under smoke. Larvae, pollen and honey are stored in a single comb. If it is squeezed, the honey becomes inferior in quality and taste. Hence, it is priced less. Now let us study the cultivable types of honeybees. This is the imported species, Apis mellifera. Bees and the colony are bigger than Indian bees. Hence the box also. Two metal wires support the big wax comb. They collect 40 to 50 kilograms of honey in a season, if enough food is available. These bees are popular in North India for shift cultivation. These mellifera bees are soft in nature. Stinging is very rare. They fall prey easily for lizards, birds and wasps. Mellifera has the resistance against Thysac brood virus disease. Swarming is rare. We can't see these bees independent in nature in India. Hence, it is restricted for cultivation. Ecologists say that the Thysac brood virus entered India with Mellifera, which is not true. In Malnad tracts, Mellifera has failed due to lack of abundant food. In plains, large-scale crops like sunflower helps Mellifera beekeepers. These exotic bees are successful and popular in Punjab, Bihar and other parts of North India. Now let us study the Indian honeybees. 
taxonomically Apis serrana indica. Here also we have two types, black bees of Malnad and yellow bees from the plains, but both are similar in cultivation. This is the Malnad strain black bee colony. They sting more, swarming, stealing food from other colonies, fighting each other, etc. are common problems. But the bees are active and good workers. Hobby beekeepers are keeping these colonies even today, but this is highly susceptible for Thysac brood disease. These are the yellow bees. Commercial beekeepers prefer this strain. These colonies are seen in the walls of dry open wells, hollow tree trunks and termite molds. They are captured in boxes. It can be transported to any distance. This strain has a tolerance for Thysac root disease.